So, I want to tell you quickly about some features on the X Fold 3 that you might not know about. Firstly, the slider. Yes, Vivo have incorporated the alert slider, as all manufacturers should, on the side. Vibrate to silent. You can actually change what this does as well in the settings. I just keep it on volume. And by the way, as you can see here, this interactive live wallpaper came straight from the native Vivo theme store in the wallpapers menu. I already mentioned, feature-wise, you can get, if I can actually hit it, my Cospet, or your Cospet if you buy one, connected. Here you can see, I'm wearing a Cospet Tank 3 Ultra, and it's connected perfectly with the Vivo X Fold 3. Hallelujah for Chinese ROM fans. Another thing I want to show you, gaming. Now, this is not an intense game by any means, but what you can do is you can bring up the ultra game mode. And any game that you choose to, and I'll show you that in a second, but here it's going to tell you what battery saving mode you're in. You can go to like battery saver or high performance. It's going to tell you the refresh rate when you're playing it. CPU, GPU, all that good stuff. And then again, you can choose what other apps and what other features you want within your game mode. So if I just, I don't want that, I'll show you a bit of this. I don't know if you've ever played this snake game, but it's pretty good. We all remember the old snake. Well, this one, oh, oh, I'm not very good. I think I've just got to collect these yellow things and avoid every other snake. And I like it. Now, obviously, as you can see here, I've got a slightly more intense game here, Asphalt 9, the standard YouTube reviewer game. So, you get the point. Game mode is on deck. I just want to show you a few other settings in the menu here as well. I mentioned there about game mode. You can select any other apps or games if you've downloaded them. I only have a couple downloaded so you can see they're selected at the top there. Now, as far as other features, there is so much on Origin OS that it would take a whole... 30 to 45 minute dedicated video hit like on this video if you want to see a full in-depth version of software now with it being a foldable phone in the settings menu you will also find a little four foldable devices section which i was already in here you can choose your multi-window you can also choose your app ratio now luckily by default, every single app, if I pop into Instagram, hello there, if I pop into WhatsApp, you'll notice that every single app has been optimised for this phone without having to do anything. Another great feature. There you go. For those that ever wonder, that's the revenue and stuff I make for my small tech channel. I won't be quitting my day job anytime soon, but I do appreciate the support. So yes, all apps are, are optimized. And if you didn't see the other software video, if I go into an app and swipe up with three fingers and then open, let's open photos. And then if I select the three ellipses here and go to portrait, look at that. I can split the screen vertically and horizontally. A lot of people asking about that. Again, I featured that in a video yesterday, was it? So you see that there. You can see as I'm doing this as well, notifications are coming through on time. Now, as far as other software, I'm just going to take some time here. Why not? Flossy does this. 
but I'm just going to scroll through. Obviously, you've got Bluetooth on deck. Everything connects fine. I mentioned as well um, in here, sorry, connections. So NFC is there. I've not downloaded Google Pay. I've not turned it on, but you can choose which wallet you want to pay from. And Google Pay does show as an option, which is handy. Back out. I told you about the Jovi car. There's no Android Auto. Like with all Chinese devices, you will not get that. So you can see the wallpapers. And if I go on to more wallpapers, it takes me to the theme store. There's the one I picked. Some of them are purchased, but then there's a heap that are free as well. Some really, really cool live wallpaper papers that come from Vivo. On this 2K Plus display, they just look stunning, in my opinion. Oh, that's a cool one. So you can see there, it says there at the bottom to purchase. So that one is not free, but I promise there are free ones. The one I've got free. Oh, that's cool. Reminds me a bit interstellar like in the bookcase. Thumbs up if you like that film. Now moving on to other features. Obviously we talked about um, the game mode, but then you've got your digital well-being section. So... All phones nowadays have this, but you can optimise almost like focus modes when you want to access certain apps, when you want to be restricted. Here's about the phone as well. 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage. And if we go to the accounts section, you can see there, Google account is showing on deck. Full GMS. One thing I've not done yet is signed into my Vivo account. Luckily with Vivo... As you can see, I already downloaded themes, everything, Play Store, everything works without having to install, without having to log into Vivo. The one thing you will have to log into your Vivo account for, and this carries over from the Vivo X Fold original, launchers. I absolutely love the stock Origin OS launcher, but for those out there with Nova Launcher, you are going to have to log into your Vivo account and then there's a couple of little things you'll have to do. I've made a video on this, but I'll probably make an updated one as part of my Vivo X Fold 3 series of videos. This was just a quick run through of a few features on the Vivo. Remember, slider, ultra game mode, NFC payments, all the other things I showed you. Talked about the kits the other day. I love this. And that background is, yeah, beautiful. I'll be back tomorrow. This was a bonus second video for today. But I'll be back tomorrow with that camera test. And who knows, maybe something else. Because you love the Vivo X Fold 3 content. Until then, 